One of the hardest things about our field, I think the greatest tragedy about our field, is when we, we meet patients who, for whom we have a therapy, we, we believe we can um, save their life through transplantation. We just can't get them there because we just don't have enough organs or their priority isn't high enough to get them transplanted quickly enough. So the, the obvious and best solution to that is living donor liver transplantation. Some of the compelling reasons to become a living donor, um, you know, stem from the fact that, you know, this is a elective thing that you're doing for someone else. And it's uh, an act of kindness and an act of love by becoming a living donor. So that is the primary advantage for donors is that they've felt like they've done something for someone and seeing the recipient thrive in the post-transplant setting has a lot of benefits for the donors. Living donor liver transplantation is unique because there's two operations happening on the same day. The donor operation typically starts first. We make an incision in the donor's abdomen. We look at their liver, which is beautiful and healthy. That's why they were selected. And we begin the operation of dividing that portion of the liver safely to remove the portion that we have selected for the recipient. Meanwhile, the recipient operation is starting and a separate team of our surgeons is removing that person's sick liver, so taking their entire liver out. The donor operation is completed. We try to time this so the portion of the donor's liver is being removed as the recipient's liver is ready to be removed. It's preserved and, and flushed appropriately and brought over to the recipient room where it's then implanted into the recipient. And again, both the donor and recipient will have a smaller portion of liver than we normally would. But because th that mass is adequate to support their metabolism and other vital functions, we know that over two to four weeks, both the portion left behind in the donor and the portion in the recipient will grow to meet their full needs and be equivalent to normal liver mass. Living donor is kind of a no-brainer if it, if it can work out, right? So you can be transplanted before you get more ill. Living donation is a, an elective operation scheduled whenever the donor and the recipient are ready. And if you look at the outcomes of living donor liver transplantation from a recipient's point of view, the outcomes are at least as good, if actually not statistically a little better, than waiting for a deceased donor organ. And that benefit is largely likely because you're transplanted earlier when you're less sick, you can recover more quickly. There's no signal at this point that there's any long-term health risks to the donors after the donation, years down the line. And there's no signal at this point that living donors have a higher risk of developing liver disease themselves or any other complications, even years after the donation. The selection of living donors is a complex process. Most of that process is aimed at number one, making sure that the donor is healthy, has no underlying liver disease themselves that they weren't aware of, or any other medical risk that would complicate them as a surgical candidate. We then do the evaluation to make sure that their liver is appropriate size and the anatomy is such that, that they can donate to their intended recipient. From a psychological perspective, we also have to make sure that the donors are in a good state to donate. Similarly, in a financial perspective, and they're able to get time off of work and have enough family support. And so that is part of the evaluation process, and sometimes those aspects of a donor's life rule them out as well. So fortunately, the, the great thing about liver donation is, you know, there is some risk up front, and really selecting the best people is central to our job. But these people can recover fully and get back to completely normal lives. And most of our donors are back to all their normal activities within three to six weeks, really, which is great. It really should be about the benefit to the recipient. And donors that go in with that expectation uh, really have the best experience.